In this lesson, we're going to go over using the messages feature. It's kind of like using Facebook Messenger. It's just another way to communicate with people. Uh, I would think of it just like sending an email, but instead of an email, you're sending a direct message. So under communicate is where you'll see messages. So you click on there. Now I have not made a message yet on here, so I do not see any conversations, but this is where all your conversation with individuals would show up. So I'm going to click new message and you can see the first thing it's going to ask for is recipient. So if you're on uh, the mobile, I mean, if you're on the browser version, it will start auto populating as you type in the name you're searching for. If you're on the app version on phone or iPad, you type in the name and you have to hit enter before it will search. So I'm just going to type in Hawkins and you see it's going to search for anyone with the last name Hawkins and I'm going to select Kimberly Hawkins. And now uh, the one interesting note is on this one, since this is a recording on a weekend, it says Kimberly Hawkins is outside of office hours. So if a parent is trying to message you and you have set your office hours, it will give them a little indication like this that you are outside of your office hours. Don't expect any kind of response anytime soon. And you set your office hours by going to the top right under your name and go to my account. And that's where you can set your office hours. So right here is where you would just compose your message. You can add pictures or files. So you can add PDFs or a Word document. You can attach files to a message. And then you would hit send just like that. And now you've started a direct message. Now, the important thing to note is this is one individual message. But if you look up here, it says you can add up to 50 recipients by typing their name. So you can send a group message and the first time you add a second person, so if I go ahead and do Hawkins again, and I look, and now we add Timothy Hawkins. Now, here's an option. As soon as you add more than one person, you have the option with a group message to be a private message or a group message. So a private message means a separate message we sent to each individual or however many people in the 50 that you have, and, the, and you will have conversations individually. A group message is, means everybody's going to see it. Okay, so everyone will be one group conversation. Now this might be a good idea if you're doing a staff group and you're collaborating on something. So just note that whenever you do a second person to your message, it gives you the option to either do private or group. If I take away Timothy, then it's just one individual. So you don't have that option. It's automatically gonna be an individual message. And that's it. That's all there is to using the direct messaging feature in Parent Square.